Good evening, everyone. I'm Honey Rodriguez. We want to begin this hour with a lawsuit just filed against Harborside Place by the wife of Nate Davenport. Nate is a 45-year-old father electrocuted while trying to save children from a fountain back in October. WPTV Ethan Stein joins us now with details of that lawsuit. Ethan. Well, we just read the lawsuits. This is 76 pages. This is just a part of it. It's filed against Harborside Place and three other companies based at the same Jupiter address who co-own the shopping complex. The main claim is the owners were negligent from installing to maintaining a fountain at the shopping center's amphitheater. Nate Davenport was killed after he jumped into a fountain at the shopping center. Officials say he was electrocuted. An inspection from the town of Jupiter found some light fixtures were leaking electrical voltage. Video surveillance, according to police, showed Davenport trying to save kids who were unresponsive in the water. The family is choosing to not talk as of Thursday afternoon, but the attorney representing the family did release a statement saying it is brutally painful that this invisible hidden trap caused injury to children and took the precious, courageous, immense and exemplary life of Nate. Harborside Place also sent us a statement saying it had no knowledge whatsoever that there was any problem with the fountain and had Harborside known there was an issue, they would have moved to immediately fix it. The lawsuit itself is 28 counts. Those counts include a wrongful death claim, an injury to the three children. The family is asking for damages for more than $50,000. In studio, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.